Sean England says, given the state of the future and potential tariffs, are you stocking up on any parts? And if so, anything in particular? Thank you for all you do for the community. I'm not stocking up on anything in particular. Uh, that's a, I think that's a, a loser's game. Um, because, like, you don't know what's going to happen. And, I don't know, like... <laughs> When when you go through parts as much as people in this hobby do, stocking up buys you time, but it buys you what? How much time is it going to buy you? See, every there are so many times in my life when I have stocked up on parts, and then oh look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh look. Here are eight sets of 533 motors that I bought as spare parts for all the motors I was going to break while I was racing when I built my 533 racing drones. So glad I stocked up. I haven't broken a single gosh dang one of those motors. They just keep going. Ah, they're too tough. Oh my goodness. Uh, what else have I got in here? Oh... Here are some iFlight Zing 2207s when I built my perfect freestyle build so so many years ago with the 2207s. Still got them. Interesting. Oh, here. Let's see here. Got some Cricut motors from the time I built a Cricut build. Got some more Cricut motors. I don't even know what that is. Oh, look. Here are some Runcam cameras. I don't even know why I have these. Here is an iFlight SuxX 50 amp 4 in 1 ESC. Here's another one. iFlight BL Heli 32 SuxX. Remember those? Way back from before the Blitz? Every time I stock up on spares, I don't use the damn spares. <laughs> it seems like. I finally did go through all those Vistas I bought that one time when there was going to be a shortage of Vistas, and I bought like six Vistas, and then every so often I would pull out a giant handful of, of Caddx Vistas on a live stream and cackle at all you guys who couldn't have them. But then, like three years later, I still had six Vistas, and I had no use for them. And I was like, ah. So I got to tell you, I, I, I've, I think I've lost more money by stocking up than I have lost on not stocking up and then having to pay more for something. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, you don't know what the future is going to hold. Buy what you need to buy. Don't go crazy stocking up. And uh, the other thing is, let's say that a tariff goes into effect and the price of everything goes up by, I don't know, whatever percent, 20 percent, 30 percent. Let's say you buy six months worth of stock. OK, well, great. You saved yourself six months. And then at the end of six months, when you've burned through that stock, now you're paying the increased price. That's the thing. How far ahead are you going to get yourself by, sh by stocking up now? If a price of a flight controller goes from $50 to $70 due to some tariff, I don't know, I made those numbers up. Great. So you buy three flight controllers today. You spend 150 bucks, And then six months later, you've built three quads, and now you're paying 70 bucks for a flight controller. So how far ahead are you going to get yourself? Because if you get yourself a year ahead or two years ahead, now you spent hundreds of dollars. You've bought tens of maybe parts, and maybe you're going to end up like me and not end up using them. Ah, So that's my thing. I mean, if you feel like spending money today, like if you're about to buy a, 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 a flight controller and build a quadcopter, definitely do it before whatever, January 20th. Whatever date is the date when the tariffs could theoretically go into effect. Like, if you're about to do it anyway, yeah, do it do it now, because why not? Don't wait. But don't, like, buy six months or a year's worth of hardware, because, you know, you just don't, I don't think, yeah, you don't know. You just don't know. <laughs>